Hello good people, welcome back to Global Happenings today. We're so excited to have you again. Who was on the mass case with Ajero, the national or chairman of the NLC has escalated to another level according to the information by Comrade Benson Okba, who is the head media and information of the NLC. Don't forget, we had they had some issues last week where he, uh, NLC chairman was arrested in Imo State uh, by police. Police came out to the bunk that they didn't do him any harm, but the guy's health is not even okay. But just now, the info that we have gotten is that the case have escalated as Hobuzolima has continued on his mission against Nigerian workers and trade union leaders. And that's exactly what we're going to be looking at because according to the info, we are told that he has invaded and also has extended attack on NLC president home community in Imo State. How true is this kind of strong allegation? Let's look at what uh, the head of media had to say about this info. He the present and violent assault on the president of the Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, Comrade Joe Ajero, and others on November 1st, 2023, inside the state secretariat of the Nigerian Labour Congress in Imo State by Governor Hope Uzadima. He talks and the state police commissioners stand as a stark reminder of the lengths to which they are willing to go in their pursuit of suppression and brutality. In a shocking turn of events on the morning of November 4, 2023, Governor Hobuzadima once again demonstrated his utter disregard for human rights and democratic principle by invading and attacking the community of Asala Owala in Emekuku Oweri, Imu State, the hometown of the NLC president, Comrade Joe Ajero. It is evident that the governor's sinister objective is to take out the NLC president, a motive led by this latest act of aggression on the community. This invasion was carried out under the misguided belief that Comrade Ajero was still present recovering from injuries inflicted by the police and higher talks. The use of ex excessive force against citizens who has different opinion or day to question the governor's governance style, particularly in relation to the inhuman treatment of workers in Imo State, is an affront to democracy. This current situation in Imo State is nothing short of a descent into fascism where terror takes precedence over reasons and dialogue is pushed to the sideline. We originally call on this Victor General of Police to rein in in the Imo State Police Commissioner preventing further abuse and desecration of the nation's police force. The Commissioner has become a tool of operation in the hands of the fascist governor perpetuating intimidation and harassment on the people of Imo State. Immediate, immediate removal is essential to prevent an impending crisis. The President of the Federal Republic and all patriotic citizens of Nigeria must not remain silent in the face of these bullshit. It is imperative that the governor has be held accountable. We believe that the President holds the means to rein the excesses of the governor and these measures must be shifted or swiftly employed to safeguard lives and property in the state. The people of Akala Owala are entitled to their peace and the continued occupation of their community by the police and Uzodi Mastok in the wake of assault on their fellow citizens constitute an ongoing insult. The occupying forces must immediately vacate the territory, granting the people the freedom to engage in their social economic activities without the looming specter he looming specter he looming okay. Say, sorry, I'll take it again. You see that they occupy 
or the occupying forces must immediately vacate the territory, granting the people the freedom to engage in the social economic activities without looming specter. Governor Huzalima should be under no illusion. Nigerian workers remain steadfast in their commitment to protect the right of Imu state workers on the Undeterred by the current waves of violence, he has chosen to pursue withdraw strength from the events of November 1st, which or will guide our future interaction with the governor. The workers of Imo State will prevail, and Hubu Zadima attempts to thwart our cause through intimidation and violence will be in vain. Comrade Benson Opa head media and information this is really really interesting and then there's another info i've just gotten that since tuesday or so last week that there had been no light in emo state and you know i'm just wondering what is going on because uh, if things continue like this it will not all go well for uh, the governor of the state's you know re-election it will all go well for him because most I feel the ideal thing is for him to come out and debunk it or come and tell Nigerians a true story. It could be there is an incident in that particular community. That's why he had to send in the military for whatever reason. But keeping quiet, especially being that this week we are entering is the week of the election. And with all the Bwaha we have seen thus far in Imo State, it's not going to be a smooth right for him and don't forget that labor party is the the man in labor party uh has a lot of uh, investment knowledge I, I i had the privilege of watching a kind of documentary on his agricultural business and i must say that i was grossly impressed imagine a man of that capacity having opportunity to come into emo state he will do something very provable very evidential in, in changing you know the economy of Imo State. So for um Hobo Zadima, he needs to do his best, you know, by making sure he comes out to in detail explain to the people that this was what actually transpired in as it has to do with the case of military going to the community where um Ajero is from. But guess what? There have been a lot of reaction which I want to take you there. Someone here says this is outright madness if it truly happened the governor should understand that the people may deprive him of the opportunity of ruling over them in the next coming election so another person here says i grossly dispute with whoever that is behind this info i think all this move is coming from the labor party themselves uh, it is wrong for you to sit somewhere and cast a suspicion like that because i don't think this is traceable to the Labour Party. Something is wrong somewhere, and it's ideal for it to fix. Now, I listened to one of those guys who is uh, uh, one of the NLC guys. Uh, sorry, I think that was National Chairman of TUC, Trade Union Congress. And some of the things he said was so unbelievable. About 11,000 people have been considered to be ghost workers when there are no proof. All of those things. Can hinder the people from voting. But however, that's what we would like to leave it. Let's meet in our commission and talk more on this.